Hey guys, um, I'm doing another uh, look through video. Um, this time it's the McCall's Needlework and Crafts magazine, I guess. Um, from It's the bridal special from February 1989. So definitely probably has some fairly dated uh, patterns. Let me see if I can move this a little so you can get a better view of that sweater in the photo. Uh, it does have somebody else's address on it. You know, it's from the 80s, but I still, you know, don't want to give it away just in case. The original price in the U.S. was two ninety five for this magazine. <clears throat> I found it in a thrift store a bit ago for about, um, I think 40 cents they were selling all their magazines for. What I love about these old magazines is seeing the older ads. And this is one for... DMC uh, thread for needlepoint. And then here is a. I'm not sure if these are for uh, patterns. I think it's for yarn. I'm not entirely sure what they're advertising. Yeah, it looks like it's a uh, yarn Unger brand, which I don't know if they still exist. But. Here's a better view of it. Two fifty cent, two dollars and fifty cents in Canada for each volume. So it's for a uh, ad for some cotton yarn. This ad, I think I've seen it in a few magazines, but I love this picture. Uh, for a red heart, and it has these cute little trees with these balls of yarn on it. Pick from your uh, this is our new colors are in bloom. Pick your favorites from 116 colors, 45 of them brand new. Then at the bottom they have all these different uh, skeins showing. It says, Red Heart's Garden is full of colors, fresh new colors with an expanded range of shades. You can work with more blues, reds, greens than ever. Before every color comes with the quality you've grown to know and trust from Red Heart's four-ply knit and crochet yarn. A wind tuck product. Ask for new colors and you shop for yarn. Yeah. Which I think is funny. I don't know about uh, 89, but I know in the early 2000s and from vintage Red Heart yarn I've had that it's very, very, very stiff. Like it's Red Heart has improved a lot, but they're still kind of stiff. But I can't imagine it was better at this point in time. Oh, and there's the uh, it, index glossary. Not I'm blanking on the correct word right now. Um, it has the crochet crochet snood pattern, which I'm gonna have to start working on covering some of these because I don't know what's you know, copyright wise, able to be shown versus not. So I got some little skeins and yarn covers to help me with that. Over here on this side, though, is an ad. This could be your own yarn and needlecraft shot. Start or expand a yarn and needlecraft business and profit from Yarn Paradise's 30 years of experience. And for those who don't know, that is actually ice yarns. They have two websites. They have one, you know, it's the same website, different URL. They have ice and, yeah, so I guess it's them advertising wholesale yarn for opening your own shop. Okay. There's a couple little ads here that are adorable. Um, oh, those, that's not a pattern. I'll have to cover that. Cutting mats and sewing craft ruler for every quilting and sewing need. So it's for cutting mats. And there's this is cool. It's an advertisement store, I guess, different shows and sales. Uh, and this is an advertisement for another knitting pattern book.
advertisement for a little bridal doll since this is the I actually love little figures like this like these older doll advertisements I think they're super pretty and then this is advertisement over here have fun raising funds by using cookbooks by Morris Press that's cool fun raising cookbooks and then over here, oh my goodness, it's an old school weight loss advertisement article. And I'm probably totally going to look this up. Yeah, I was just reading through that for a second. I'm going to skip that one because that's ridiculous. Uh, cover up part of the pattern, make it hard to grab. <clears throat> and here's a Pantone's ad. Pull one over on someone you love. I think that's pretty hilarious. I like the play on words. <clears throat> this is the uh, advertisement for Pantone's yarn. More pattern advertisement for a hummingbird. That's the pa we'll get to the pattern pictures eventually. Jottings from my journal. I guess it's one of the yeah, it's the ed a note from the editor. I guess I can read that part. I'll read part of it before we rush into head before we rush headlong into 1989. I'd like to take a few lines to tell you what's propelling us here at our offices. 1988 was filled with excitement, and we designed our special 75th anniversary issue. Editors, assistants, and art staff took all took part as we looked through endless stacks of past issues, each of us choosing our favorite projects to be considered for the final selection. And just kind of goes on about that. And there's an advertisement for a creepy doll. <clears throat> Named Amanda, Amanda the Creepy Doll. How much did she sell for? Three convenient monthly installments of $21. So that would be 40, 50, 60, $63 for this Creepy Doll. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, a knitting machine advertisement from studio studios designer electronic knitting machine that's cool heh <laughs> this one I don't know where the coupon must have fell out but there's an advertisement for women's cigarettes six milligrams of tar in quotations nicotine average per cigarette the surgeon general's warning Oh, and then the next page has the other part, that advertisement, the long-stemmed ultralight. Woohoo! Uh, advertisement for a serger. And here's where we get into some of the pig. Uh, oh, look, more advertisements. Eve Ultralight Slim's one twenties. And there's one of the, uh, I guess she used the sweater top, the sweater top looking dress. So I guess that's a cross stitch magazine for, uh, subscription ad that comes with a free freebie pattern. Another stitching advertisement. A needlework supplies, I guess. And here's a cute little ad. Well, big ad. It is for boy hooks. And, you know, needles too. Oh, and here's some of the pictures of the patterns that are available. So I guess the pattern is for this top bit. 
in this bottom bit, and the little thing he's added to the uh, veil. <sighs> Some fun little sweaters. I can definitely see modifying the front of this one a little, you know, using that stitch, but modifying it for more modern stuff. Yeah, I guess those are meant for the guests and bridesmaids and such. Some more sweaters. And these patterns are scattered throughout the book, like the pictures will be in one section, but the patterns are just all over. sweaters. I can see using like this design here, but like modifying the cut. More sweaters and such. This one here isn't bad. Cross stitch add. Whole bunch of at home shopping advertisements, more advertisements and part of a pattern. More cross stitch as so yeah, you can see where all the patterns kinda were at the beginning and then over here and they're just kinda scattered around. Singer advertisement. advertisement for a uh, car insurance. I don't know if it was legally required at that point in time or not. I'll have to look it up. I think pretty much everywhere now you have to have car insurance. You don't get a choice. More little advertisements. More advertisements. Oh, here's a, I guess that's a, one of the patterns that's in here. And the pattern for this was at the beginning of the book for the, I guess, the nightgown top. These are needlepoint patterns that are in this magazine. Oh, there are some pretty quilts. I like blue over here. I got uh, ideas for using extra stamps. Valentine's gifts are on this side. Valentine's gifts are cute as a button. For picture, paint a heart shaped frame, cut a cardboard to cut cardboard to fit and cover one side with fabric and glue in place. These are some other patterns for various things that are in here. I really like this blanket. And this one would be cool with like the right colors chart, another ad, another ad, some more pattern charts for what you already saw, Another ad. Ooh, knitting basics. Whole bunch of ads. Let's see if I can we'll get some of these hobby career at home. I feel like almost this might have been like the MLM his before MLMs were a thing, sort of, you know, like the trying to grab all the moms into make extra money when they're not really making much extra. Karen ad. Karen Dazzler. I might have a skein of this somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. But I might. And then there's the back of the magazine. Another knitting ad. It says she's made it. 
She went from rags to riches with her knitting, her Knit King knitting machine. She keeps fashion for the cost of yarn, and you can too. I feel like based on the prices of clothes I buy, that is probably more expensive to make most of it. You'll find everything you need at your local knitting dealer. Knitting dealer. <laughs> I, I like the, the wordings. Yep. Okay, and that is the 